KTZ Optics presents Back to the Basics Live. Every Wednesday at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern. A high-definition broadcast on Facebook. Focusing on camera line tutorials with our Chief Screaming Officer, Paul Richards. And our Social Media Manager, Tess Protesto. Back to the Basics Live. New videos every Wednesday. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Back to Basics Live, where we go over some basic yet essential functions of our cameras and products. My name is Tess Protesto. We're live every Wednesday at 2 p.m. right here on Facebook. I'm by myself today because Paul had his baby. Yay! If you were keeping up with us last week, we had a live reactions poll asking, do you think it is a boy or girl? And it was a girl, Annabelle Richards. She's the sweetest thing in the world. <gasps> I forgot to pull a picture in of her. Well, I didn't ask permission first. So I will ask permission for Friday. And if he says yes, then I'll share a picture with you guys because she's the sweetest thing you've ever seen in your entire life. Anyways, I promised Paul I wouldn't talk too much about the baby. Getting on to what we're supposed to be talking about today is RIR remote control. I have a document camera here set up right next to me, which is this bad boy, which is going to show you guys the remote. So here's the remote. They come with each and every one of our cameras. They're used to essentially control the camera and the pan, tilt, and zoom functions. Sometimes we get calls from people saying, I got the camera, how do I pan, tilt, and zoom it? Luckily, you do have this basic remote that can actually do quite a few cool things, which I'm going to show you today so i'm trying to keep an eye on the chat as best as possible but since i am by myself today forgive me if i'm a little slow with answering questions but we are going to have the post show like always where i'm going to try and be sure to get back to you guys on your questions okay i was going to pull up the live reactions poll but it looks like my access code is timed out on that website so we're going to have to forget about that but to show you the end result of the question of the day we did in the pre-show, it was Guns N' Roses versus ACD. Looks like ACDC has won. We do these fun live reactions every show to uh, engage our audience, essentially. Okay, so back to the important stuff, our IR remote. Here it is. I'm going to keep it down here for the most part so I can show it to you. So you can um, have up to four cameras programmed onto this remote, which is really nice. Right now I just have one and I'm not gonna get crazy and brave and do multiple ones because um, I don't wanna mess it up. So to program your cameras, which is one of the first thing you're gonna wanna do, make sure that you have your IR remote connected to the camera so you can control it. It's simple, you press star, pound, and for camera one, F1. If you were then going to want to add a second camera, you would do star, pound, F2. And if you wanted to control a third camera, you would do star, pound, F3. And then finally, if you wanted to control the fourth camera, star, pound, F4. Then you can simply switch between which camera you have control of by hitting camera one, two, three, or four. I believe the camera I'm on right now is set to three for some silly odd reason. So let me make sure I press that. And then hopefully I was right in that. Yep. And now I'm simply, well, right now I'm zooming. There's a couple features when it comes to zoom on these cameras. You can do fast zoom. This is fast zoom. Or slow zoom depending on the ease of transition that you'd like to have. Boy, I feel like I'm on QVC right now. <laughs> so if you, want to pan tilt, if you want to pan and tilt the camera, it's just simply these directional keys here. Okay, this is how fast it moves. We get a lot of questions about that. This is how fast you can move your camera just with our remote. Though if you're using the joysticks we have, um, it would be a little more seamless than that. So those are the basic functions of the camera. Um, one other cool thing you can do is set presets. Preset angles, positions, um, zoom functions of your camera. So to set a preset, you simply hit, okay. There it 
there you set preset you hit the preset button sorry if i'm getting tongue-tied because i'm trying to think and perform at the same time and talk and it gets a little much okay so you can hit preset one and then every time you hit the one button it'll be to this spot say i wanted to look for some reason over here to do like a rule of thirds type situation i just move the camera position to where i want it to be and then hit preset two and you s there and you can see in the upper corner of the screen then i'm on two if i want to go back to my first position just press the one button if i want to go back to the second position press the two button and you can see you can go on and on with the presets now for the fun stuff i made this cute little overlay of ir remote tricks uh-oh people are frozen hold on just checking in the chat all right well it's all right for me so hang in there Okay, so the IP remote tricks that are lovely support staff shared with me include the following. If you press certain buttons, functions on the remote, you will be able to do certain things. For example, star, pound, and one will display your menu in English. Sometimes, weirdly enough, people's cameras come with their menu set to Chinese. And if you're, you know, if you don't speak Chinese, then you can simply change it back to English by pressing star, pound, and three. Star, pound, and four will show you the IP address of your camera. That's one I could do right now. I don't know where that just took me. Here I am. Star, pound, and six will allow you to restore the default settings. Star, pound, and eight will show you the camera version, and star, pound, and nine will flip your camera picture horizontally and vertically. So this will be recorded, and if you want to go back and see these remote tricks in use for later, you can go to our YouTube channel and watch this there. OK, so moving on from that, I wanted to show you how you can control. Let me make sure I'm on time. I'm good with time. I'm good with time. All right, if you want to control um, the color, the picture of your camera, you do that through the mo the menu. So I'm pulling up the menu. Let me make sure you guys can see this. All right, I'm pulling up the menu and see, you can see here it says exposure, color, image, pan, tilt, zoom, noise reduction, setup, and you can restore your camera back to default if you need to start from scratch with all your settings. So you can adjust things like the exposure. We have it set to auto right now. But you can adjust it so your picture is brighter, darker, so on and so forth. Same goes for color. You could change the saturation. This will probably make me brighter, a little orangey. <laughs> I think we had it at 110 and same thing for hue so this allows you to create a really custom image that your camera displays depending on your lighting your environment and so on and so forth that's kind of the basics of the ir remote and if you want to exit out of this you should be able to press menu if i can figure it out and there you go ta-da all right, so that's pretty much it for the IR remote. I don't think it was too shabby, right? <laughs> All right, so let's head into the post show now. Thank you for watching this, guys. And I'll see you in a moment. <laughs>just realized that the remote was the star of our outro right there so congratulations remote control forgot to bring that input down all right guys so that was my back to basics episode by myself i'm gonna hang out in the chat and try and answer some questions for you hopefully you guys found this helpful all right let's head over to the chat room hi giles 
Thank you. Hi, Rudy. Thanks, Paul. Paul said I, I did a good job. Phew! We got the okay from the boss. <laughs> Just, let me try to see here if I can go backwards and see some of the comments that were live during the show because, okay, here we go. Tony says he needs a document camera. They're pretty nifty. It has its own light on it that just displays directly down on whatever it is that you're trying to show off. Tony says joysticks are much better. I mean, joysticks are, are definitely optimal, but it's nice that there is a very basic way to control our cameras when you get them. Especially if you don't, your budget doesn't support the joystick, it's a great option for you. It's also a good way to learn about your cameras and everything that they can do. Okay, so everybody else is saying that so far, I think that streaming at 720 at 1.5 worked better for us this stream. So I'm happy with that. PTZ Optics has its own Kiki. What's Kiki? Michael Seth Burgess said, very cool to us. All right, everyone's being really sweet. Does anybody have any questions that Paul can answer for you in the chat? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'll try my best. Looking in the chat, checking out. Tom says, Paul, give Tess a raise. <laughs> He might if he could. I don't know. I can go ahead and stop recording.